Having just come off Panto, uh, there's one figure who used to run his own Panto season. I mean, he was a producer. Now he isn't anymore. And, and, and of course, he, he also had his adult Pantos as well, uh, which were deeply scurrilous, um, but hugely entertaining, of course. Uh, you know, a great all-round performer, um, Jim Davison. Now, Jim Davison was slighted by the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Uh, Sadiq Khan was asked a question during the London Assembly mayoral questions by Emma Best. And it was a question about a £10,000... Um, £10,000 being put aside for celebrity endorsement. I didn't realise one got so much. Uh, and uh, But it was specifically not for... Um, Jim Davison and people of that ilk. Now, you know, that um, we all know exactly what he means, but the expression is extraordinarily dodgy and uh, the mayor should know better than using language which could be interpreted as, what, I, you know, it, it could even be seen as racist. It's, uh, it's uh, putting people in groups like that uh, in dismissive groups like that, is not uh, not the sort of language or the sort of attitude that anybody in public life should be having. It's disgraceful. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you, you need... You need to be more careful with the language that you are using if you are a senior politician. This is going across the board. Suella Braverman uh, is not careful with the language that she uses. And as far as I'm concerned, she causes offence. She may not cause offence uh, in, the, um, in, the, in the corridors of power in Whitehall, but she causes offence down here. Uh, Sadiq Khan, equally, he may not think he causes offence uh, in the corridors of power uh, around um, his mayoral office, but as far as I'm concerned, he causes offence down here. Uh, Jim Davison and his ilk. I don't know what ilk means, but it's not a positive comment. And uh, un unless, of course, uh, Sadiq Khan and Jim Davison are great friends and know each other, know exactly what each other means, I can't imagine that this is worth anything other than an apology. So I look forward to hearing about that apology and Mr Davison's response.